like to um, use the, um, the South um, Cervix Android software for cadastral survey work for limbs. This is the recommended way to record the data. So first of all, if you come into your points database and you're taking data in the field for the name, make sure you use the cadastral name like old iron tube BP21267 whatever the whatever the cadastral name is for the mark put that under the name so don't use point numbers there you've got to use the cadastral names and the reason we do that is that during the reporting stage at the end of the survey the cadastral names are coming out correctly in the report so for example, if you come into uh, point stakeout, and we'll go and choose our cadastral point there to go and mark out. Navigate to the point like we've done here, and then when you're happy with the mark, you can see it here on the screen here. Um, record the point, and you can see now that the point name it's going to um, apply to it is the cadastral name, Old Iron Tube BP21267, but it's got in brackets one. That means that we've recorded it the same point uh, a second time. So we we'll hit OK. And if we come back to our points database here, you can see now the original coordinate that was taken out in the field was we've, we've gone and made, found it in the field and staked it out. And it's got the same cadastral name for the for the point measured would be it in the one. So if we go back and we maybe go back to that same point, uh, you know, an hour or so later, and we'll go and um, you know go and stake it out again as, a, as an independent check. We'll go and measure it, and you can see now it's 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 appending the cadastral point name with in brackets number two, that means we've measured it a second time. So if we come and go back and have a look at our points database again, you can see now that the same point's been measured twice um, with the correct cadastral name and the correct naming. So once we come back to the office, um, then we come back to do the exporting of the, of the data. So Points. So when we come to export for our format, now normally when we're going into some office survey software, we're going to export the data as survey point data, CSV, which is fine, and we'll still do that. But what you want to do as a field record for cadastral surveys, you want to come down to the bottom here and choose this option here, which is GNSS measurement report. This format of the report is the one that LIMS requires. Um, to meet their reporting requirements. So choose that format, go export, give the export a name, and export the data. There we go, the data's been exported. So that, that report will be in the exact format that LIMS uh, requires. So um, that's all for now, so thank you very much for listening.